Hello YouTube, back with another video on my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing very well and I hope you enjoyed the last video. I did upload a couple of days ago. We were looking through every single hero and icon that's coming to FC25. We went through the statistics of them, you know, weak foot, steel moves, all that good stuff. But we are back with another video for FC25. We are currently about... 10 days away from the from the new game which i'm very excited about i'm very excited to bring actual content that i can actually play but we are going to be going through uh the power shot plus fc uh, 25 evolution that did get leaked uh, so yeah this is a leak if you do not want to watch this please go and click off this is your five second warning that i am going to be leaking uh, the best players for this evo that's going to be dropping for the ultimate edition uh, players that have obviously pre-ordered the game but yeah that is the intro you if you're wanting to watch this you are not really bothered about leaks and you're still here and obviously the people that don't want to watch leaks have uh, clicked off which obviously i don't want you to click off but i understand what people's stands are on evil uh, leaks and stuff so there is currently 10 best possible evos that's going to be coming in fc25 and i'm going to go through every single one of them um but there is three stipulations for this power shot plus fc25 leaked evolution it has to be a striker or one of its variations has to be a striker so it could start out as a right mid but you can be a striker you can actually be a striker obviously as well overall maximum 82 i think that's obviously just to keep the low rating lower lower as possible and it's the first ever evo ea will release and then it has to obviously it is exclusive to ultimate edition pre-orders so what that means is if you've pre-ordered the game uh before everybody else so we get the pre-order um we get we get it on the 20th if you've ordered the ultimate edition um now if you've ordered the standard edition which comes out about seven days later i believe it is you will obviously get this evil because i presume it'll expire um it'd be like it's like a founder's evil i presume so yeah that is basically it. max maximal or 82 overall and a striker position only the first one i'm picking out of the best of the 10 is anderson talista he plays in the saudi league now don't quote me on these these aren't like confirmed these are just my predictions of what the evil will give us but Anderson Talisa, the reason I picked this one is because of the, the links that it's now going to give us to Saudi League's league. Saudi League have actually bought out in the summer, uh, you know, the transfer window. They've actually bought a few players now. So the Saudi League is actually becoming a more usable league than we thought. More usable than the MLS, really. So Anderson Talisa, he starts off as a right mid, so you'd think, well, the Evo doesn't count. But his alternate positions, I think he's centre forward, right wing, but mainly striker. So you having him up at striker or at right mid allows him to be this evil. So he starts off as an 82. The stats are okay. 79 pace, 84 shooting, 83 dribbling. That's the confirmed card. But going into the E4, that's what I'm predicting. Now, maybe the shooting is a bit too much. I'm not sure. But if you want to start off with a card that will get you that link to that name it, name it, name it, name it. Good one, Josh. That Neymar you'll probably pack or you might buy. Obviously, the links to Ronaldo. Same, same, same league, same team. All that good stuff. And he's Brazilian. Multiple, you know, the nations on that is absolutely key. So, yeah. Anderson Talista to start. I think that would be a very good card. I don't know the prices on these, I presume. Because there's only a select pool of players. They'll be very expensive, maybe. Unless you pack them in your 4600 FIFA points, who knows? The next one, we have got a guy who recently moved from lead one into the Saudi league again, is Mr. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Uh, 82 rated. I have just noticed as I'm creating this that I've still got Marseille has, has his club. That is incorrect. He plays for a, a team in the Saudi league. I don't know what team it is, but it's not Marseille. He moved in the summer, so Aubameyang... 82 uh, overall, of course, can play striker. Well, that's that's obviously the evil ticked off. 84 pace, 83 shooting, 78 dribbling, 63 physical. I, I predict him to be like 87 pace 
with 85 shooting, 81 dribbling, 66 physical. Looks an okay card. The third one I'm going to go with is Inaki Williams. Now, the reason I don't think this card will be included in the Evils, I, I think he will. He, he can play striker, he can play right mid, but the pace is far too high, I believe. I, I, I've put him in, likewise with a couple of others, I think it is. I think I've got one more in this. That might be too overpowered that he uh, just blocking off the lid, a certain requirement. But Inaki Williams with 94 pace, 81 shooting, 80 dribbling, 84 physical. Uh, doesn't look too bad. And then obviously goes up to the Evo of 8, 84 rated with 96 pace, 84 shooting, 83 dribbling, 86 physical. That's my prediction. But I can understand why EA won't do that because of the base 94 pace. Or oh, if he is included, that looks like a really good card for your like your starter La Liga teams. Out wide, I, I love cards like can play right mid, left mid, and striker because there's so much like depth to the beginning of the game. When it gets into more promos, it doesn't really matter. But the fact that you get someone with a right mid and you can you know with a striker as well is is top notch. The next one I'm gonna go with Adamola Luckman, 82 rated. He plays in the Serie A. He used to play for Everton. 84 pace, 81 shooting, 86 dribbling with 66 physical. That is his base dual card, I believe. With obviously the 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 Evo. You know, I'm roughly saying he's gonna have 86 pace with 83 shooting, 88 dribbling is really good. For a striker with 70 physical with obviously the power shot plus. Looks alright. Serie A probably won't be as expensive as people make out. There's a couple of teams that are now not licensed with EA. So maybe EA don't really care much for the, the Serie A this year as much. Um, but yeah, looks like a great starter striker, I guess. Probably one of the cheapest because of the nation as well. And we might as well go to another odd nation, but it is obviously in the Prem. Is Mr. Darwin Nunes was a founder Evo in last year's game. You, you could pick him, he was eligible. 90 pace, 81 shooting, 86 physical as well. With obviously that 82 overall, goes to an 84, like we always say. What's his base card? 90 pace, he'll go to like 92 pace, 84 shooting. You know, 88 physical, 75 passing maybe, 80 dribbling as well. Gonna be a good card. Starter strikers in the Prem are always decent. A card that will take you through quite a few weeks until you build your coins up or you pack someone that can replace that Nunes. And even then, he'll be a great super sub. The next one we got is Mr. Cole Mouane. Now, this card would have been really expensive last year if this was the Evo, simply because Kylian Mbappe was at PSG. But obviously, Kylian Mbappe has gone to Real Madrid. So, there's, Ligon isn't really that desirable this year, sadly. So, he's still a great card. 90 pace, 80 shooting, 81 dribbling with 67 physical. Can go up to, like, 92 pace, you know, 84 shooting, 83 dribbling, 70 physical with that power shot plus. He looks like a good card. But with Ligon not being as desirable this year, I doubt many people will go for him. But... As a striker from France as well, you can still get that link to Killian if you do pack him, if you have got pack luck for days. But um, yeah, I would recommend that card. He was an, an Evo as well. I think most of these cards were Evos like last year. Just a couple of inclusions like this Angel Correa. Now this card will probably the most usable in terms of like links and it's, it's just gonna be a great card his base card is 86 pace 84 shooting 86 dribbling with 75 physical you, you pop him up to an 84 with like a maybe a plus two or three on stats he does like up to 86 you know 88 pace with 86 shooting 89 dribbling 76 77 physical you know, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. With that link to the new transfer, Julian Alvarez, which I presume that will be a hyperlink, just that's probably going to be the most usable card. Uh, we got two more, which is going to be Gabriel Jesus. I don't believe he was a founder from last year. But yeah, Gabriel Jesus, 82 rated. <clears throat> yeah, 82 rated with that Evo that goes to like 85 pace, 83 shooting, 89 dribbling, 80 physical. Like I said, these are predictions, so don't shoot me if they're completely wrong or they're not Ill 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 ineligible. But I think going off like the, the, the requirements for the Evo, 
I think he will be eligible. That's a really good striker card to go out with, to start with the game. Also, we have got Serge Gnabry as well. 82 rated. He has been downgraded from an 85. Looks like a very good card. With his Evo, with his gold card, he's probably not as usable just for the lack of pace. But with those evolution upgrades, hopefully, we're playing in the Bundesliga. I think EA will give the Bundesliga a lot more love this year. Um, I think he could be a, a usable player. Can go at striker, can go at right mid. So he's quite versatile in that sense. And then finally, we have got the one and only Marcus Rashford. My Rashford RTG, you know, many years of that, of failing it completely. Starts if he's been severely, like, dropped, by the way, from an 85 rate to an 81. 89 pace, 83 shooting, with 82 dribbling and 64 physicality. That looks an okay card still. With the Evo though, goes to an 83 because obviously the plus two rule. 92 pace, 86 shooting, 85 dribbling, 67 physical with the power shot plus. That, unless I don't pack him, I presume that card's gonna be very expensive. Hopefully I'll pack him. I wish the best of luck, but that could be my actual striker card. Can play left mid left wing and striker so if you have enjoyed this video it's probably not as long as the last video which you probably as a relief the last one was like 18 minutes long but this one's not this is just showing you the top 10 um evos that will that is that has been confirmed to be leaked the uh, the evolution whether these cards are included i hope so but let me know in the comments down below if you found any of these any gems that are going to be eligible for the evo and i'll take a look at them i do like Heart and comment on every single comment that gets uh, put into the down below but until next time i'll see you soon peace